I'm Neil Schaefer. I'm a contract specialist for DLA Land and Maritime in Columbus, Ohio. My story uh, involves my wife's death. It was the afternoon of June 25th, 2007. I had been away from home all morning at a business meeting and returned home early afternoon to find our riding mower in a mangled heap in the middle of the road and my wife's lifeless body laying in the neighbor's front yard. The minivan that hit and killed Joni was sitting a few hundred feet further down the road. The driver of the minivan was texting and driving. Became focused, more interested on what was happening with her cell phone, looked down and didn't look up again until she had left the road. The van drifted left of center, entered our yard, and a hundred feet further from our yard to where Joni was on the riding mower. We were married for 18 years. Our daughter at the time was 14, our son was 11. I not only had to be dad, but I now needed to be mom. Don't get me wrong, I had a great support system. But in the quiet times, I went to a very dark place. It took me some time to come to terms with what had happened and the finality of it. I got to the point where I knew I needed to do something. Something that could not only honor Joni's memory, but also be therapeutic for me. So I came up with this crazy idea of speaking at the local student driving school. I brought this idea up to the owner of the school who knew of our family's situation. And she readily agreed that I should come speak. And then I didn't show up for another year and a half. Uh, it took a lot of time to get the courage to do that, to, to finally convince myself that was the right thing to do, and then even go stand up in front of a group of teenagers uh, and, and share with them uh, our tragedy and life lessons that I learned, all with the goal of helping to turn the tide of distracted driving. I forgive, I've forgiven the driver that killed Joni. She didn't set out to do that. But even if she had, uh, I would forgive her. It didn't happen right away. It took some time, but I got there. I think the turning point in fully accepting uh, this loss of of a wife and a mom and a sister and, and an aunt was uh, during a dream. Uh, in the dream, Joni and I were unloading groceries. A large vehicle pulled into our driveway, but I could only see it in silhouette. Two people got out of the vehicle. I could only see them in silhouette, but I somehow knew it was a father and a son. They called to Joni. They said, you need to come with us. You have work to do. Joni stopped what she was doing. She left. No goodbye, no explanation. I wrestled with what this meant for a while and had some folks help me understand it. That, uh, that father and son, that was God and Jesus. That's when I knew that everything was going to be okay. And that uh, Joni's soul was still soaring. Through this, I've learned that life is like a heartbeat on a monitor. 
It has highs and it has lows. Some of the highs are higher than others and some of the lows unfortunately are, are very low. But they are all only temporary. This is a journey and there are times when the journey is, is rocky, but stay the course and, and, and you'll overcome. <laughs>